The images from this weekend of violence in the streets, stores being looted, and riot police with dogs barking and charging at protesters seem like they are out of another era, but this outburst of violence is going on in present-day St. Louis, Missouri. It all started with the fatal shooting by police of an unarmed black teenager. The FBI has now opened an investigation, but the shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown has opened a wound in the community. The violence which erupted in the anger from... I'm an invisible boy. No, I'm not a spook like the one that said by the door. See, I am of mind and body. Invisible. Not like H.G. Wells, but more like John Cena. You can't see me. <laughs> a man may be not, you see. I'm only 19 years old. A boy, really. Yet, not the boy constructed of snails and puppy dog tails those boyish actions are dismissed as childhood folly. Recall, George Washington chopping down a cherry tree. Why, if he was in my skin, he would have been convicted of, of trespassing, vagrancy, possession of a deadly weapon, um, armed robbery, and probably perjury if he denied that shit. Then they would have hung my black ass from the next cherry tree over. Todd feathered and castrated, even as I admitted it was I, because I am invisible. Cloaked with colloquial terms to identify my false identity. Thug, hoodlum, disadvantaged youth, product of society. 6793574. That's my juvenile system ID if, and only if, I'm not tried as an adult. If I get a white girl pregnant, I'm a bitch ass nigga, a sellout, a rapist, a race traitor. If I get a black girl pregnant, I'm a whole ass nigga, a baby daddy, just like the rest of them, a broke ass nigga. Half the time my close and companion is fear. Either I'm being feared or I'm afraid of myself. When I leave the house every day, I gotta make sure I got my driver's license passport, social security card, and a blood sample just so I won't get arrested for non-identification. I mean, it takes me about an hour just to get ready in the morning. White tea, two get up. Black tea, two black. Red tea, blue tea, now that's gang related. Purple tea, that's pimp shit. Pink team. That's gay. Hey, 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 baby. How you doing? Where you going? Where you going? Come here. I got something special for you. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. My name is OG. I sell them white tea, right? Yeah. I got one to say, bitch nigga, please. Oh, nah, no. No, how about pussy, weed, and cabotas? OK, OK, OK. My all-time favorite, because it's all over me. This me all day long. I only fuck mops. <laughs> oh, no, oh, OK. Man. No, OK, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't go, don't go, baby. I got you. I got you. OK, how about fuck the police? No. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I got you a working man. You look like, you know, you're that kind of guy. How about I got that work or I chase that cheese? No. no. Oh, man, baby, you killing me out here. I'm working hard. Okay, I got one. Look at, look at this one. It's got a weed leaf on it, right? Right, 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 right? No, I'm straight. I'm good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got some gold watches. I got gold watches in here. You know, blingy, blingy. Chicken on a stick, chicken on a stick. What you say, man? Only one dollar? Nigga, you know you want this chicken. 
niggas and chicken and existed together since the beginning of time. God created man and said, it is good. Then man said, God, why don't you hook me up with a fly little honey to fry out some of this chicken? Adam didn't know which thighs and breasts to go after first. <laughs> now look, you know you want this chicken. Only one dollar. Sit down, sit this one, man. I got that fire dog, I got that green. Nah, bro, I'm trying Nah, well look, dog, maybe you need some DVDs. I got these joints like two for five, man. I got fat booty holes bobbing four, dog. Nah, I'm straight, dog. Nah? What about that Tyler Perry, man? They got that fine bitch in it, the last one that came out. See if I got five. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Fuck with me. Get your hands, man. Oh, man. Come on, come on. Search. Oh, man, I'm selling there. Wow, this is great. I've never been this deep into the hood before. It's exhilarating. Yes, it is. It's like living inside the wire. It's got marijuana, check the sale! Nah, 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 that's, that's not mine, that's that man's. Shut the fuck up! Welcome to Tour a Day Hood, where the privileged gain the first hand experience with the least of them. Let's begin. To your right, you see a tragic conflict between local police officers and disadvantaged youth. You have the right to shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! The minority in question likely grew up poor with a mother on crack cocaine and an absent father. You have the right to a shitty court appointed lawyer who will make sure you serve jail time. Even if you didn't do shit, just to fuck up your nigga life. Such children are driven to crime by the age of 10. It's become such a common occurrence that the public school system is able to use their third grade math and reading scores to predict how many prisons to build. Anything you don't say can and will be invented and used against you. Hey, look, the white guy got an empty baggie. That was my sandwich bag I was going to recycle to play. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up! While under reform, these children learn how to read, write, learn a trade, earn a general equivalency diploma. Also, they're able to earn money through in-facility employment to purchase items such as envelopes, playing cards, and, and snap cakes. I love snack cakes. <laughs> it smells like weed. Let's just sprout it a hip on ride with vegan aid. For many of these youth, this is their first time eating three square meals a day. Come here. Notice the pathos in his anguished eyes. He's hungry, uneducated. He has no role models, no guidance. He longs for discipline and structure. Thus he lashes out to make the prison in his mind external. Oh, that's so sad. Finally, you'll have a clear course to follow. Peers to grow up with. Guardians to watch over him. Finally, someone will care about his future. You have the right to be a nigga. Any nigga called not being a nigga will be niggerized. Excuse me, I never knew it was so horrible living inside the hood. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could send them all to prison and that way you could end their struggle in the hood? They would have food. And jobs. And education. I think that is an <laughs> excellent idea. Thankfully, the prison system has saved over 2 million of the disadvantaged from the hood life. Over time, maybe it can save them all. <laughs> right to local congressman. I'm hearing mental replays stating words like perpetuation, bounce back, man. Can't nothing save the black man. But a good job and an education, a vote in a 401k will make you okay with the Pac-Man. So you won't get ate the fuck up like Pac-Man. It'll be like you ain't even black, man. And I ain't knocking none of that, alright? 
But here I am locked up like some common criminal for just trying to live my life and get it right. That ain't the math, man. Check it. It's who you decide to be. Not what you decide to do. The freedom that you seek is already inside of you. How you envision me as a nigga, your enemy, this isn't real to me. Only I can limit me. Resurrected.